Hi, Big Lap Bible. We are Kat and Stu from Retreating into the Sunshine, and we're going to show you a tour of our retreat Fraser 219 BSE. Come on in. Cool. So, as you can see, we've got a north south bed. We love this style of bed, it was a non negotiable for us. We like the fact that we can walk around each side. Um, and it just gives us more room. It's easy to make the bed basically and I feel like a main bed kind of just makes your day Anyway, um, when we first walked in this van the first thing we realized was that our bed was really high um, However, that is a super benefit I've decided because it gives us a massive underbed storage area um, And also a massive tunnel boot, which is great because we wanted to put in a slide-out kitchen um, I have also put on a five centimeter mattress topper because this bed was a bit like a brick So it makes it a bit higher again, and it's also good because the kids can't get up winning um, We've got the typical like upside down U kind of shape for the wardrobes um, And in the wardrobes we have popped a bunch of shelves. Can I open this? Is this one safe? Hopefully This is a lot neater than mine um, so Stu put the shelves in, we've got no need for hanging space and I think most caravans, unless you specify, come with hanging space. So we get a lot better use of space. In the corner here, can you see that one? That is a Webasto diesel heater. That to us is an absolute must. Um, I just love the cosiness that it gives in those colder, colder campy times. Um, the vent for it is down here and it is adjustable so you just change it up or down. Um, these little baskets here, they just came up bike baskets. Sometimes we fill them full of wet, soggy shoes and then the diesel heater will dry them. And then over this side of the stew side of the bed, there's a little intake for the actual diesel heater. Um, if you pop around here, you will see that we've got two storage pockets on Drop Bear Storage. I love them. It's just a tiny little family owned business. Um, they make amazing pockets. You'll see them scattered all over our van and you can basically choose any colour you want. So we've just gone with, this is Pebble, um, and it's the same colour as the Pebble, obviously. Um, I was gonna mention, oh yeah, that's right. We changed our lights as well because we wanted a warm white instead of the cool white that the caravan originally came with. So these ones, they touch and they're dimmable as well. And they've actually got a USB port in every single light. So I think we've got seven lights in total. So heaps of space to store stuff. Um, come around here, babe. Um, so we've also got the corner bed tables at each end of the bed. Um, they are great for storing stuff. I've got more clothes in here because, you know, that's just what I need. Um, my little exercise mat. And we've got some fabric um, removable photos, which they're just kind of special photos that I like to look at, you know. Um, so that's from Wonder Made Fabric Decals. You can see above me, I've got the Carafan. So um, it is a 12 volt powered uh, dust reduction system and I'm in love. Like, as you can see, we've got such a light caravan. So I'm super happy to not have had a speck of red dust and my God, we have traveled through some dusty spots. So it's definitely kept every bit of dust out of the van, except for the stuff that the kids bring in with them. So we've clearly got a lot of fruit storage. I've got my macrame hanger. It's just hanging off a fusion lock hook. It hasn't moved yet. Well, it hasn't snapped with the weight of the fruit. So that's a good sign. I do take that down when we travel and we obviously pop this one on the bed as well, but we go through so much fruit, it's ridiculous. Um, little hanging plant, that stays up. It just gets a bit of a beating. It's not real, clearly. I like a bit of greenery. Um, and you can probably see up in the corner there as well, I've got a Sirocco fan. So we've got one on each end of the bed. We've got one in the corner over here in the living area, and we've got one in each of the kids' bunks. So I, we, we fully rate the Sirocco fans. Um, this is the only time they haven't been on in the last four months that we've been living in our van, and it's just because of the noise interference, but it's pretty bloody hot in here at the moment, so I'm pretty keen to get them back on. Um, but yeah, they've got three settings, so obviously slow, medium, and high, and then they've got some timers on them as well. So you've got a couple of different options on when to switch them off. Alrighty, so on to our living area. Um, as you can see, we've got a straight lounge. Um, we personally are loving the straight lounge. We would not have thought that we would love the straight lounge, but we obviously got this van secondhand and then altered a bunch of stuff and added some stuff aftermarket to make it our own. Um, anyway, it's been amazing. One thing I would love to change would be 
this plush material in a cream um, so as you can see it's already got some smears on it of sun cream and who knows what else because we've got three young kids um, and I'd like to have that in the same material as the the fleather there um, but yeah we can fit all of us along there and quite often we do and I'll just chuck it like so um, we've got the Nuova Mappa table leg which is the um, adjustable table leg um, that is also what I kicked really hard a couple of weeks ago. I managed to fracture two bones in my foot. So um, be freaking careful because that really hurt. So yeah, obviously this swivels all the way around. It's great. But, um, and it makes it feel like there's more room having a straight lounge rather than the L shape where it would be protruding here or over here. We've got another Sirocco. Our lights either side and a couple of the um, drop bear storage pockets. Then I've got my little shelf with my diffuser, which I like to diffuse. I'm, I'm not really an oily person, but at the moment we are mozzie infested at this particular campsite. So I've got some citronella in there and some other mozzie repellents. So I do use that quite a lot, which is great. Um, should we do a bit of cupboard storage here maybe? So I'm not gonna open that one because I haven't opened it since we came in on this track. So it could be quite catastrophic. Um, this is where we keep our dinnerware. So I've got a combination of stuff for the kids and for us. Got some stemless glasses at the top and we just keep them in their box. And man, we've been on some rough tracks and they're all in one piece. So hopefully it stays like that. Um, in here is our business end. So we've got our BM Pro um, and Stu is currently charging the hardcore lights um, and a cheese grater in case you've got some emergency cheese grating. Um, our inner drive inverter bits and pieces, hot water system, and then our Van Connect 5G cowfish internet on the other wall. Okay, so here we've got our kitchen, um, basically where I spend most of my days. We love having the kitchen awning side. It's a helicopter. We love having the kitchen awning side because I do feel like I want to be able to watch my children. Um, also the view is usually that side. I don't know if you can see the view at the moment, but we've got stunning ocean views and we haven't got a neighbor. It's just incredible. Um, so I'll start at the top here. You can see we've got our um, battery monitoring system or the, the monitor itself. Um, we monitor our water levels, our gray water levels and our battery as well there. Um, Stu is a Sparky, which is great. So he would like to replace that with a different system because that is a BM Pro. Um, he's not a massive fan. I just care about if I've got enough water to wash my hair and clean my skanky kids. Um, so I've just put some Kmart wallpaper on the side there. It's like $35 for the biggest roll and I've probably used an eighth of the roll. And it's holding up really well because it's vinyl so I can just wipe it over. Um, like I said before, we've changed a few things since we got this van. So the van came with white bench tops and it was actually a nightmare, not quite warm enough, a little bit sterile. Um, so we contracted, contacted Retreat and they whipped these up for us um, and we transferred money to them and they arrived in Perth. So Stu fitted them all. Um, we also changed the size of our sink and you can see we've got a white sink. So the sink that the caravan came with was quite large and that just doesn't work for us being off grid a lot. Um, so yeah, love the white sink as well, by the way, like it is a little bit more cleaning, but if we were to do it again, I'd get a white sink for sure. So replace all the bench tops with this wood grain. Um, we obviously had the bedside ones, the ones at the end of the bed, one in the bathroom and then these two. So I think there were seven all up, but we absolutely love it. Um, we also had a full size oven so it was a swift one as well so we actually took that out sold that on marketplace um, and it was basically brand new so the van was a 2021 model so it was only like six months old by the time we got it um, and we replaced it with just the grill and the cooktop and we went for a four gas burner cooktop so we really wanted the option to have gas and we didn't want to be just electric because we've actually determined um, that we need a buttload more battery than we've already got so I do quite a bit of cooking inside because when you live in your van it's not always perfect conditions um, and that does work really well for me um, we've got our filter tap we've got our normal tap and that is connected to three 110 litre tanks and we've also got a 110 litre grey water tank um, this one we got on eBay which is pretty good I thought my little sprays 
Um, we usually have an electric kettle, but we're off grid at the moment and I was getting a bit trigger happy and draining our battery with kettle, air fryer and all the fun things. Um, however, this bad boy will always serve us every morning a couple of times. My make coffee machine, um, Stu and I are coffee fiends, so we love him. Um, we are talking about securing it to the bench, but I am a little bit like, ah. Uh. Although last night we secured it on the bed between the pillows and I forgot to drain the water. So we slept in a wet bed. So maybe it's going to live on the bench from now on. Um, I've got a Kmart shelf as well, which we've screwed in. So everything can stay in here. I've actually hidden some of it for the video. I just like smushed it all down, but there's like paracetamol and a few other things in there, which are like kind of everyday items. Now salt and pepper, obviously. Um, so we, when we removed the oven, we actually popped in a pot drawer. Um, which is great. It's probably a bit of a mess at the moment, but just more storage basically. Oh, it's all right. Not too bad. It's pretty jam-packed, but it's got some heavy-duty sliders on it because there's a lot of heavy stuff in there. Um, this cupboard up here, you can see we've got our keys along the wall, and it's just our cups and Yeti obsession, which I was the person who did not write Yetis until I started traveling full-time. Love them. We've got our um, music stuff. Not really, well we don't really use it do we? No. Um, microwave, that is a plateless microwave, has not been cleaned, that was you. <laughs> plateless microwave, that's awesome. Um, and then this is part of our pantry, so I'm a little bit obsessed with these Sistema um, containers. Get them half price, they always go on sale. So that stacks nicely. Um, my favorite part is opening it after we get to a destination and trying to catch all the things that come out. But it's, it's pretty good. Um, and then favorite part of the van is the pantry. Absolutely love it. We've got some spices on the wall there. So three cupboards, each cupboard has a shelf. Do you want to come over and have a look? Cool, so I've just secured these. They were sticky, but they did come off <laughs> with a few corrugations. So Stu has screwed them on. These are plastic, amazing. And the little labels are fabulous as well. Um, I don't know if you can see, but these little, they're really like, they're light. I think they might be bolster or something. Anyway, um, and we just store heaps of stuff in there. It's great. Um, I did want to mention as well, we added a drawer to the top for our cutlery because that was not a drawer. It was just a drop down. So we were kind of losing stuff at the back. So now we've got two drawers and that really needs to be sorted. What's that doing in there? Anyway, um, our fridge. So this fridge obviously has the white. Um, you can obviously get black as well. And we've got our Wonder Made Fabric Decals map, which we've also got the photos made that I showed you before. Um, it is a 224 litre Dometic two-way fridge. So it does not run off gas. Um, we really are loving the fact that we don't have to stop for gas as often as we have previously with our, our other van we had before this one. Um, but it is reasonably thirsty, so we are finding that we're definitely going through more battery and we've got to get used to that. We go to bed and we wake up and the battery has obviously discharged a bit. Cool. Um, and then the under fridge storage as well, which is where I keep all the kids stuff. It's probably a bit of a pretend that didn't happen. Um, access to under the the big bench seat. Um, speaking of, that's where we keep our inverter and all our battery stuff and there's a lot of electrical stuff under there. Um, the beauty of this van is that because it's got a flat floor we don't have wheel arches so there's a lot more storage space so that whole section underneath that couch is purely for storage. Love it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the Dometic Ibis 4 aircon. Um, we really like it. We find it really efficient and we really wanted to be able to run it off grid. So we have traveled in some really hot days and really hot nights and um, we made sure that we had the battery capacity to do so. However, because it was working so hard, we did end up having to buy a generator, which we will still use sometimes. Um, but we do have 400 amp hours of lithium stored under the seat here. We've got a, an inverter as well. Um, and then we've got 840 watts of solar on the roof, as well as a flexible solar panel that we can move around as needed. All right, we go down to the kids area. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a Constantina door here. It's fabulous. So the kids can be in bed and we can be having dinner or doing washing up, which is something we tend to do all the time. I think that's one thing I miss the most, my dishwasher. 
Um, okay, so we've got a triple bunk. We have three kids and yeah, it's, it's basically sorted for each child. They chose their bedding. Um, I chose a company I liked, um, Sulky Stitches. I don't think she's doing bedding anymore, but she is doing some other stuff, I believe, as they travel full time. At the end of their bed, we've just popped a rattan basket, which has all their, I think it's just rocks, sticks and feathers, and it's really gross. <laughs> but I can't see them, so I'm happy with that. Um, come round and have a look at the foot end of their bed. So you can see at the foot end of their bed, we've got a Sirocco fan at the end of each bed, and I've just popped some fabric wall decals again from Sailor Lane. Um, just to make it their own space and our little boy loves combi vans so it couldn't be a better pick so in here we've got the finch roof hat they're massive we love them they let in so much air um we've got one above our bed as well that we leave open every night now kids wardrobe and washing machine i'll start with the kids wardrobe it was a bit of a challenge figuring this out but we finally found a system that works for us and it is these flexi storage tubs from Bunnings. Um, the idea was actually given to us by somebody on Facebook, which was really cool. Um, and then I've just got these made up by a company on Etsy and hot glue gunned them on. As you can see, the bathers one has come off. This one didn't suit. So there's been a few changes, but they work so well. I will just pop my basket of washing on the toilet and then I will just unload it into there and it works an absolute treat. So that's that one. And then they have a drawer each, so that's Harrison's, and then the girls are there. And then we've got a four kilo Chemex washing machine. Um, we actually measured how many litres we use because I couldn't find anything on their website. So it's decent though, we can do, we've got queen size sheets and we will do our full queen setup. So like bottom sheet, top sheet, our pillowcases, so four pillowcases, and I usually shove in one of the kids' fitted sheets as well. Um, and my favorite feature is I think the quick cycle. So you've got a 14 minute and a 30 minute cycle if you really want to speed it up. But if you do have more water, if you're plugged in, you can do some long cycles. And one of them goes for three hours. So for those really filthy things. Um, 30 minute cycle is something I use all the time. So I did want to measure how much water that used. So I put a massive bucket, you know, the big tubs that we get from Bunnings. I put one of them under our, our gray water pipe and measured that a 30 minute cycle in this uses 25 liters. So it's actually a lot more efficient than I thought it was and I'm pretty much in love with it. So my favorite feature of this caravan is the open plan bathroom. We found it really hard without this particular feature when we were bathing our kids and then trying to get them dressed and trying to get them ready for bed. So as you can see, it's got a massive Constantina door um, that goes all the way across for when you do want that privacy, but when you don't need it, you've got all this room to get ready, dry yourself or whatever. It also creates a lot more airflow, it's so great. So we added some towel hooks because we kind of ran out of room and Stu and I whipped them up. As you can see, I, I love my gold accessories. Um, and we've got these awesome cupboards at the back. Can I go through and have a look at them? Which are actually the back of our pantry. So, but there's so much room in them. So I just saw our beach towels, obviously toilet paper and then other like hand towels, floor mats and cleaning stuff. Um, and this one is some bath towels, a hairdryer, who knows when you might need that. And that's the kids games and art and craft. So they're pretty deep, they go quite far back. Just love that extra storage. Um, our toilet, we've got a Thetford cassette toilet and we actually purchased two cassettes for it, which has been a blessing because Oh my gosh, we fill them up so much quicker than any other family, which absolutely kills me. Um, this is one thing that we actually replace as well. We got this bench top replaced because that was white and it just cut across there and we did not have the shelf above the toilet. So we've added the shelf above the toilet and it's just, I know it sounds ridiculous, but we've got like that much more bench space. Um, this mirror has been amazing and I know there's some really mixed opinions on that and some people think why would I like to watch myself on the toilet in the mirror but it's really nice having a full length mirror and you don't need to watch yourself when you do a poo and this is where I keep my medicines so above here where the kids can't reach it um yeah I like that so I'm a paramedic as most of you know so I've got a few meds in there we've actually insulated it as well 
So it does actually say cooler in there because it's obviously up the top and we've got a gray caravan as well. So the wall, the back wall of that medicine cabinet is also gray. So yeah, the insulation seems to keep it a bit cooler. So behind this lovely mirror is our shower. It is enormous. I'm not going to open that because we haven't cleaned it and we've been in red dirt and it's not very pretty. Um, but it is a fiberglass one piece shower. It is full height, so we have no problems. We chuck all the kids in there. I can wash my hair and not bang my elbows. Um, there's heaps of room in there. And we've got obviously the gold fittings in there as well for the shower rows. So that's a tour on the inside of our retreat Fraser 219 BSC. I hope you enjoyed it. We are Kat and Stu and three turtlers from Retreating Into the Sunshine. <laughs>